Hi everyone, my name is Rosario Rivera and I will be speaking to you about type inference in Haskell today for my 372 video project. All right, let's get started. So what is type inference in general? Well, type inferencing is a feature of the type system which means concrete types are deduced by the type system wherever it is obvious. Now, this is usually done at compile time. The compiler slash interpreter needs only the minimum information to be able to figure out the type of the expression or variable. So, how does it happen in Haskell? Well, Haskell, as a functional language, has type inference that uses all the possible information to derive the type of the variables. Haskell, in particular, uses unification, which means all the types are inferred at once, flowing freely in all directions throughout the program. So the data can be passed both ways, multiple ways. And in particular, Haskell uses the Hindley-Milner type inference algorithm to do this. Now, uh, in order to illustrate this, I will go through some examples. Now, just to get the idea going, x plus 2. While this is not in the right Haskell syntax, Let's just pretend there's like y equals x plus 2. There are no variable type declarations in this, but Haskell can infer the type of not just x, but 2 as well. It can do this simply based on it knowing the plus symbol is for addition. Now, Haskell can tell that they are the same numeric type, but it's has to make a choice between the numeric types as a type could very well be an integer, a double, ratio integer, etc. But what type would it be? Okay. So we are going to use let x equal y plus z as an example. So we are now going to go to putty to do this. So I'll start up GHCI and uh, we're going to give uh, numbers to Y and Z. So then Y is equal to 1, Z is equal to 2, so then let X equal y plus z. Alright, so then in order to see the types we're going to do set plus t. Alright, so then if we were to do y, it's showing of type num, right? So it's going from, since it's just a there's no operation going on, it's just t to t. The same thing will go for z. And if we actually do x, we are going to see 3. So we added 1 plus 2, right? But it got, it knows that it's a numeric type because of y and z being digits. But it also, like previously explained, sees this because of the addition symbol. So it knows that it has to add the same type. So if you see here, it's going from type, let's just say type A to type A. So what the, the this here is, let's just say if it were like integer type, and this is integer type, then both both have to be integers to be added, and the result will be an integer because it's just addition. 
Now we're going to do a more complex example. All right, let's go through this. So here it is showing what I just said. All right. So then F, putting in the values X and XS, is equal to X plus the length of XS. So this here, we can take multiple things. So just like we said, the it has unit Haskell uses unification, which means all the types are referred at once, so and it goes freely. So in order to find out what the function is, we actually are going to go to this side. So then x, what would x be? We don't know. So for now, we're going to say x is equal to a, is of type a, and xs is of type b. OK, so then x is of type a. So then we know, because of the addition, that the other side has to be of the same type right so they can be added together now the x s type for now is b but it doesn't really end up mattering because length has to input a type of int and not sorry not a type of int <laughs> length has the input of a list and then it'll output type int. So since we know that both x and the result of length of xs have to be of the same type, then we know that x is also of type int. So with this, these both being of type int, then the result will be of the function f will be of type int. Now, here's the type that it will output. So it shows that function f will take in a type of int, which is x, and also a list, which is xs, and the output will be of type int. So that is um, the small introduction into type inferencing. I hope it was useful, and thank you for your time.